There's this term known as pareidolia. It refers to this sensation that we all kind of innately have and we might see faces in things where a face, for instance, does not exist. And the building that we're in uh, right now kind of has parts to its exterior that have pareidolic qualities. So the building that T-Power occupies has a typically generic civic exterior, not really very remarkable. On closer inspection, however, there are various shapes and aspects to that facade. The outside of this building that are intriguing and curious. There's one shape in particular, a kind of odd U kind of elliptical shape with a flattened top. That shape has gone on to inform the entirety of the project. I studied in Wrexham. I graduated about 15 years ago now. In that time, Wrexham has changed quite a lot. This building has remained here, and I guess Tea Pub has, in a way, made people re-look at the building and T-Pub's refurbishment of the building kind of masks some of these architectural elements and I want the work to refocus our attention on them. So the Walpub Commission consists of two large tri-vision motorised billboards. Quite an unusual space for conceiving an artwork. T-Pub is a mixed, multi-purpose building and these spaces are interesting because they sit literally on the facade of the gallery within the building. They face out, they kind of look literally out onto the market hall. It made sense for me to think about proposing something for the Commission that explored the wider purpose and context of T-Pub. Through thinking about the building's literal facade, the outside of the building, and considering these wild pub spaces also as facades within the building, and approaching that idea with a level of play, if you like, the resulting work quite literally pulls this word facade in half, and the title of the work, which is Face Aid, brings to mind ideas therefore that are potentially both figurative, the face and what you might say fizzy, the aid, which is this suffix or concluding part of a word that you might say when referring to a fizzy drink like lemonade, ginger aid, cherry aid, etc. Once you then take on the task of producing a fizzy drink, Lots of other avenues for potentially interesting dialogue with the building have opened up. The logical solution seemed to be that it should be flavoured by something that was grown in-house. Then the logical place for that growing to happen occurred to us to be the roof. As the building is still a fully functioning multi-storey car park and there is a space on the roof that is currently unused for cars for various reasons and that became the perfect location to begin growing various edible plants that will and are being used to flavour this fizzy drink. In order to successfully maintain and begin this kind of wild prospect of forming a, a rooftop garden, a regularly meeting group of volunteers has been formed from the local community known as Club Gadio. Welsh for gardening club. Composting can begin to happen in that space and the cup that the drink will be served and sold in is in itself completely compostable. The designs that make up the billboard and the cup are all black and white and contain no other colour. They are all actually, in fact, made up of oversized, cut up, slightly exaggerated 
punctuation marks and other grammatical elements of various typefaces. Large scale prints have been made using those shapes in repeated ways to resemble something that feels like punctuation, if you like, without the words. So it becomes a kind of optically challenging pattern to view. These shapes on the building's facade have a relationship. They look like hugely oversized punctuation marks. Sometimes I think about uh, Woodstock in Charlie Brown, who when he talks, he doesn't say anything. There's just a lot of lines and dashes. 